Imagine if Elsa from Frozen decided to work in construction, she'd surely find a job in Quebec. Every winter, builders in this Canadian city utilize approximately 500 tons of ice and 30,000 tons of snow to construct the stunning Hotel de Glace. This ice hotel features a slide, a bar stocked with ice glasses, a dazzling chandelier, and over 40 rooms, including luxurious accommodations for a cozy stay. Guests can capture plenty of memorable moments for their social media feeds. However, be prepared for chilly temperatures around minus 4 degrees Celsius and a price tag of about $377 per night. According to WPS Handrails, the frameless glass balustrade stands out as a top-tier option, particularly with its innovative FlexFit system. This system ensures that the glass remains perfectly level, as demonstrated by its installation in this stunning house in Devon. While their expert installers are hard at work, the company highlights the convenience of offering a self-installation kit for those who prefer a hands-on approach. The standard version of the frameless glass balustrade kit comprises 1.1 meters of high-tempered and laminated glass, accompanied by durable aluminum channels for secure mounting. The Swiss company Bloomer Lehman AG remains a pioneer in innovation by offering modular wood construction projects tailored to modern needs. For example, consider the Into the Woods Pavilion, which adorns the garden of the Swiss Embassy in Copenhagen. Collaborating with two other teams, experts from Bloomer Lehman AG meticulously crafted three distinct trees, each composed of 18 elements to ensure structural integrity. Steel tubes were skillfully inserted into the trunks to enhance stability, while drainage systems were seamlessly incorporated. These tree-inspired pavilions feature textile membranes, adding an elegant touch to the design. The remarkable projects undertaken by Bloomer Lehman AG have earned widespread acclaim, with even the Swedish King Carl XVI Gustaf inaugurating one of them. Now, let's delve into a couple of power-related projects. The first one takes place in Germany, where workers are currently installing a cable designed to handle 110 kilovolts of voltage. This cable will serve the purpose of connecting several substations, facilitating the network's expansion. This development is particularly beneficial given the presence of several large factories nearby, such as the Mitsubishi Paper Factory in Flensburg. The next project aims to improve energy exchange between Germany and Norway through Nordlink's green cables. These cables allow Germany to export energy generated from wind turbines, while Norway can utilize energy from its hydroelectric installations. This initiative enables approximately 3.6 million households to access sustainable energy sources. Now let's talk about an amazing product from Hungary that's not just the Rubik's Cube. We're introducing Platio solar panels, which span an impressive 80 square meters of sidewalk. These innovative panels have the capacity to generate approximately 11.7 kilowatts of electricity. Designed to be robust and resilient, Platio solar panels are ideal for integration into bike paths and parking lots. What's more, their installation process is as straightforward as laying down regular pavers. Platio embraces sustainability by utilizing recycled plastic waste, with approximately 400 plastic bottles contributing to the production of each panel. Concerned about overheating? Fear not. Even on scorching sunny days, these panels remain as cool as traditional pavers or concrete, as affirmed by the company's claims. Next up, we're featuring a product from the renowned international company, Han Plastics Limited, known for its innovative approach to recycling plastic to create a variety of items, including grids. These grids, much lighter than their concrete counterparts, weigh approximately 9 kilograms each. Despite their lightweight, they boast remarkable sturdiness, suitable for various applications such as parking lots or warehouses, capable of supporting the weight of a fully loaded car. 
Paired with a drainage layer, these grids efficiently manage rainwater and mud, making them an excellent choice for farmers and horse breeders alike. Furthermore, these grids are resistant to rot, rust, or cracking in cold conditions. And when their lifespan comes to an end, they can be easily recycled, contributing to sustainability efforts. Meet SubPro, an innovative module designed to streamline and expedite construction processes. In this video, we'll provide a practical guide on working with SubPro, exploring its key features and benefits. Crafted from recycled plastic, these modules are available in four heights, ranging from 16 to 30 centimeters. Their stackable design enables height adjustments of up to 60 centimeters, providing flexibility in construction projects. Working with SubPro is effortless, thanks to its optimized design that includes spaces to prevent water and concrete penetration during pouring. With just a team of two, carrying and laying the modules becomes a straightforward task. Moreover, the finished floor using SubPro is approximately 40% lighter compared to a traditional floor, offering both efficiency and durability. The fundamental principle of sustainable construction is straightforward. Construct buildings that remain cost-effective throughout their life cycle. Leading the charge towards this sustainable future is the Canadian company, Plyax Building Systems. They've introduced building blocks made from 90% recycled materials, including plaster, plastic, concrete, and other discarded materials. The creators claim that these blocks are not only more durable than traditional bricks and concrete, but also speed up the construction process by three times and reduce costs by at least 35%. One significant advantage is that craftsmen no longer require mortar, making it possible for individuals with minimal experience to build high-quality buildings and structures. Initial production is set to commence in Canada, with plans for establishing a global production network in the future. StormTech elements are ideal for installation beneath roads and parking lots due to their robust arch design. They offer an effective solution for collecting, storing, and redirecting stormwater. With StormTech, achieving a storage capacity of 1,585 cubic meters is possible. The filtration responsibilities are managed by isolator rows and chambers, efficiently capturing debris and contaminants. For user convenience, the manufacturers provide a suite of virtual tools for designing, customizing, and monitoring the system. StormTech utilizes a durable polymer, making it as resilient as concrete but significantly easier to maintain, 